Imagine a world where you never die, not in a fantastical, immortal vampire kind of way, but through the mind-bending principles of quantum mechanics. Welcome to the theory of quantum immortality. In this reality, the laws of physics as we know them cease to apply. Instead, we find ourselves in a realm where the paradoxical and extraordinary take center stage. A realm where your consciousness may continue to exist indefinitely. This is not science fiction. It's the astounding world of quantum physics where the impossible becomes possible. To comprehend quantum immortality, we first need to delve into the strange and wonderful world of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics, or the study of the very small, is where our conventional understanding of the physical world breaks down, giving way to a realm that seems to defy logic. Let's unpack this a bit. First, we encounter wave-particle duality. At the quantum level, particles can behave as both particles and waves. This is like imagining a tennis ball that can also ripple like a wave in a pond. It's a concept that's hard to grasp because it's outside our everyday experience. Then there's superposition. This is the idea that quantum particles can exist in multiple states at once. It's as though that tennis ball we mentioned earlier could be both in your hand and across the room at the exact same time. Only when we measure or observe it does the particle choose a definitive state, which brings us to the observer effect. In the quantum world, the very act of observing or measuring can change the outcome. It's as if the tennis ball knows you're looking at it and behaves differently because of it. These principles might sound like they're straight out of a science fiction novel, but they're actually supported by experimental evidence. Quantum mechanics is one of the most successful theories in the history of science. It's been used to develop technologies we use every day, like lasers and semiconductors. But what does all this have to do with immortality? Well, to understand that, we'll need to introduce a thought experiment involving a cat, a box, and a vial of poison. But before we get there, it's essential to remember that in the quantum realm, reality is not as straightforward as it seems. So, as we continue our journey, let's keep an open mind and remember that reality, as we know it, might be just one of infinite possibilities. In the quantum realm, reality is not as straightforward as it seems. You may have heard of Schrodinger's cat, a thought experiment that perfectly illustrates the bizarre nature of the quantum world. This experiment, proposed by Austrian physicist Erwin Schrodinger, involves a cat, a flask of poison, a radioactive source, and a box. The cat is placed in a box with a radioactive source and a flask of poison. If an atom of the source decays, it triggers a mechanism that breaks the flask, releasing the poison and killing the cat. But in the quantum world, the atom is in a superposition of states. It's both decayed and not decayed at the same time. So until we open the box and observe, the cat too is in a superposition of states. It's both alive and dead. But what if we take this a step further? What if in some parallel universe, the box is opened and the cat is alive, while in another it's dead? This is where the concept of quantum immortality comes into play. Quantum immortality is a thought experiment that stems from the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. It suggests that we, like the cat, are in a superposition of states and that our consciousness continues in the universes where we remain alive. Let's imagine a life-threatening situation. According to quantum immortality, at the moment of potential death, the universe splits. In one universe, you die, and in another, you survive. Your consciousness, inherently tied to the version of you that survives, continues on, oblivious to the other outcome. In essence, quantum immortality suggests that we could be living multiple lives in multiple universes, each branching out at every moment of potential death. But it's important to remember, this is purely theoretical. Quantum mechanics is a realm filled with probabilities, not certainties. So next time you hear about Schrodinger's cat, remember this. In the realm of quantum mechanics, just like Schrodinger's cat, we could be both alive and dead at the same time in different realities. So what is quantum immortality exactly? It's a thought experiment that takes the principles of quantum mechanics to an extreme yet logical conclusion.
To understand quantum immortality, we first need to revisit the idea of quantum superposition, a key concept in quantum mechanics. It's the principle that a physical system, such as an electron in an atom, exists in all its theoretically possible states simultaneously. But when measured, it gives a result corresponding to only one of the possible configurations. Now, let's put ourselves into the mix. Imagine you're part of a quantum superposition and there's a 50-50 chance of you surviving or not surviving a certain event. According to the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, both outcomes will occur, but in different universes. So in one universe, you survive, and in another, you don't. Here's where quantum immortality comes into play. It asserts that regardless of the event, you will only consciously experience the universe where you survive. The reason? Consciousness can't exist in a universe where you're no longer alive. Let's use an example to make this clearer. Suppose you're playing a game of Russian roulette, a deadly game where there's a one in six chance of the gun firing. According to quantum immortality, every time you pull the trigger, there are two outcomes. You either live or you die. But since you can't experience death, your consciousness only perceives the universes where you survive. So, no matter how many times you play, you will always find yourself in a universe where the gun doesn't fire. This doesn't mean you're invincible though. In the universes where you survive, you may still grow old and die of natural causes. But, according to the theory, your consciousness will continue in another universe where you didn't die at that precise moment. It's important to note that quantum immortality remains a thought experiment. It's not scientifically proven and it's more of a philosophical interpretation of quantum mechanics. However, it does provide an intriguing perspective on life, death and the nature of our existence. In essence, quantum immortality suggests that we continue to live in a parallel universe whenever we die in this one. The implications of quantum immortality are astonishing, and not surprisingly, the theory has its skeptics. If quantum immortality holds true, it would dramatically alter our understanding of life and death. Instead of viewing death as an absolute end, it becomes merely a shift to another universe where we continue to exist. It's as if the universe is constantly making copies of us, and each version of us carries on in a separate universe. This perspective is fascinating, yet daunting, as it challenges our deepest held beliefs about mortality. However, quantum immortality, like all theories, is not without its critics. Detractors argue that the theory is untestable and thus unscientific. After all, if we can't empirically verify the existence of these parallel universes, how can we be sure they exist? Some argue that it's merely a philosophical concept rather than a scientific principle. Others take issue with the theory's interpretation of quantum mechanics itself. They argue that quantum immortality relies too heavily on the many worlds interpretation, which is just one of many interpretations of quantum mechanics and not universally accepted. Moreover, quantum immortality raises troubling ethical questions. If we're immortal in some sense, does it change our approach to life, risk and morality? What happens to concepts like fear of death or the value of life if we believe we are immortal? Yet despite these criticisms, quantum immortality continues to captivate our imaginations. It's a thought-provoking concept that pushes the boundaries of what we understand about the universe and our place in it. In the end, quantum immortality remains a controversial subject. It's an idea that resonates with our innate desire for immortality, yet it also confronts us with the bewildering intricacies of quantum mechanics. It's a theory that challenges us to rethink our assumptions about reality, life, and death. Whether you believe in quantum immortality or not, it undeniably opens fascinating new perspectives on the mystery of existence. Quantum immortality is a theory that challenges our understanding of life, death, and reality itself. We've delved into the quantum world, a realm where particles exist in multiple states until observed. 
we've discussed Schrodinger's cat, the paradoxical thought experiment that brought to light the concept of superpositions. We've explored the theory of quantum immortality, a hypothesis that suggests we never truly die, but instead continue living in a parallel universe. We've also navigated through the implications and criticisms of this theory, acknowledging the complexity and controversy it engenders. The looping motif of quantum immortality has woven its way through our discussion, reinforcing the idea that life and death may not be linear, but cyclical or even multi-layered. This theory, though controversial, invites us to look beyond traditional perspectives, challenging our understanding of existence. So next time you think about life and death, remember quantum immortality and consider you may never truly die, at least not in the quantum world.